Well, here we go again. We are up in Baltimore taking a look at the collapse site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. It's been an interesting weekend for us getting on site and gathering some content and getting some video here for you. A little bit of a frustration setting into with us with a unified command. Uh, we feel like we're making a pretty simple request. We're, we're trying to show you guys the process of how an operation like this works. And uh, it seems like we're making requests for some rather simple things that we think you guys would be able to, that would help. You guys could understand what was going on. And uh, it's not getting not getting anywhere with them. Uh, it's something that we're going to have to do ourselves. I guess when we get back up there, it would save us a lot of time. It's just frustrating when it happens like that and uh, I'm sorry we can't get that to you guys but uh, we're going to take care of it we're going to we're going to make it happen for you guys um, the site a lot of stuff going on if you look at the lower right hand corner of this image where the uh, barge is you can see uh, they've got some heavy equipment there up on the barge with grapple heads on the end of the booms and it looks like they are working on stacking some of that debris that the crews have been lifting and setting over on the barge you see that kind of going on that's some, some big material for sure uh, the crews there uh, when you see something and kind of look at it and start breaking it down uh, as I'm sure many many of you do and really see the complexity of the operation it uh, it's a different perspective and that's what we try to do here on the channel I know we got a lot of uh, new subscribers that have kind of joined us this is this is what we do uh, we're not there to be in the way we don't want to cause any problems certainly it's it's a a lot is going on on this project and it's a global event and we want to cover it, and we want to cover it for you guys, and hopefully bring some understanding in what's going on. But a lot of cranes, guys. You know, yesterday we saw another crane coming in. The Weeks 533 was being brought in by one of the one of the tugs. I think it was one of the Don John tugs that was uh, had it and was coming in with it. And already we have seen the Don John uh, group working. Uh, the 533 it looks like on the job site there uh, that is a 500 ton uh, floating crane or derrick barge and it is uh, it's a it's a true it's a true workhorse very versatile piece of equipment and we can see that that piece being worked today we've got we're going to have some more on the we're familiar with the 533 as we saw it uh, it was actually on contract at the project when the Golden Ray capsized down in Georgia. And we've got some, some stuff on that. There'll be a lot of images coming up of, of the 533 and what it does and what it brings to the table. Well, we thought uh, you guys might want to see this, this image of this heavy equipment down on the, on the barge, kind of stacking this debris as it comes comes down and, and is placed over there. Just all part of this this very, very complex operation. And you really, when you look at these containers that are stacked up on the ship, see the size of these cranes we know these cranes have some massive booms on them and look how high those cranes are and you can bet if if it comes that they have to uh, start taking off some of those containers to weight shed uh, the, the dolly uh, these are going to be the guys that are, that are going to do that that in itself if it becomes required is going to be be quite a project you know when these ships are in the port the cranes are fixed and 
they they have operators that run a system of of, of a it's kind of like a grabber it'll run out over the ship goes down grabs these containers picks them up brings them back and either it sets them down on a um, a trailer that it locks it onto so it can be moved around the yard it'll be transported for either rail delivery or truck delivery this is the most efficient mode of, of transportation now with uh, these containers, but they won't have one of those as, as they're working or trailers moving and they're gonna to have to come down onto a barge um, and then taken back, back in the port to be unloaded. Again, super, super complex, a lot of moving pieces and parts. I talked a little bit about the, the 533. Uh, when you see this this crane in, in action, it, it'll get your attention. Uh, red and white, this is it right here, red tip. It's got that white boom on it. Uh, it comes down to a red house. And it is fixed there. And this is a 500 ton crane, uh, which he's what they tout here on the Weeks Marine website. It's got half the lifting capacity of Don John's Chesapeake 1000 that's on site. We saw that that crane over at the port area uh, over at Sparrows Point. It was there. Now we, we didn't get video of it, but we saw a very large section of the the girder work of the of the bridge being transported by barge uh, while we were going in to to set up by the time we got set up the barge had, had gotten out of view i would have loved to have gotten gotten some of those images but they these guys are lifting some pretty significant pieces of debris uh, with some of this equipment what they can get to they're getting some rather large pieces well i saw evidence of that today We've gotten a good bit of video that we're going to continue to share with you uh, during the week. We're going to get back up to Baltimore. We're hoping to get the boat with us so we can get it in the water and just continue to do what we do to be able to bring you guys some images of what's going on up there. That's all we've got for today. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to ask if you haven't done it yet, you'll click on that surprise, subscribe link. Leave us some comments. And most of all, Hey, you guys be safe out there.